Hi everybody, it's great to see you. Today we're going to be talking about my Japanese Sky Pencil Holly. Sky Pencil Holly is really popular and everybody has a place for it because it's tall and skinny and just slides in next to your house in one of those places that you want a little vertical element um, but you don't have a ton of space. So this Sky Pencil Holly has been neglected for a few years and Sky Pencil Hollies need to be trimmed and really um, watered well, taken care of it, showing some signs of neglect. And then last winter we had a blizzard and I looked out the window and the Sky Pencil Holly was like laying on its side. Um, it has not recovered. Your Sky Pencil Holly should really be upright. So I am going to give this a major trim today and hope to stimulate some new growth and build up some of that strength. One of the reasons that you want to routinely cut your Sky Pencil Holly back a bit is it'll help make the base a little thicker, stronger, so as they get tall, they don't just flop over like that. It might not work, in which case, if it doesn't bounce back, we're going to take this one out and put in a new Sky Pencil Holly. So let's see how I do with the trimming. So I've trimmed the Sky Pencil Holly down to about the height that I want, where it had started to bend over before. It's looking pretty upright. One other thing that you want to think about when you are pruning your Sky Pencil Holly is to just go into the center, and sometimes you get some real dead pieces in here. And you can remove those, put the energy back into growing the, the fresh leaves here, rather than have sort of a hollow dead center to your um, bush. So I have some in here that I'm gonna trim out now. Some of these have little sprouts of new growth at the top here, so I'm gonna leave those and hope that those start to fill in now. Okay. So now our Sky Pencil Holly is well trimmed back to where it had bent over last winter. And to help it revive, I'm going to give it some fertilizer. We do have some browning and yellowing leaves here. Sky Pencil Holly, like all other hollies, really like acidic soil. So something like Holly Tone is a great fertilizer for a holly. I'll give it some of that. And then I'm going to give it a lot of water. Sky Pencil Hollies in particular, really do well when watered well. And I don't particularly have this on a drip line, so I'm going to make that extra effort to give it that water boost that it needs. I'll keep you posted with how it goes. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.